All right, this video shows um, the kind of construction of the roof part of the nativity. This brown beam is a piece of foam and it just nests inside that little notch back there. So this hinge right there uh, flips out as you see it and then the um, roof pillar just sits on top of that and then these roof panels sit on top of that. Um, you can see there's a little cleat right there. And on the left side, there's a cleat there. That's what allows it to rest on there without sliding down. And you can see the roof joint uh, is there. This uh, right side is shorter than the left, so you can't put them on backwards. And you can see that the reflective gold side is on the bottom. So think gold meets gold with the stun sunburst. And the uh, wood grain is on the top. So kind of looking at the construction of the nativity, you have uh, the surround, and then you have the Joseph, the Mary, and the manger. You can see how we prop the manger up on that wooden rack. And then you can see the light that's clipped behind it shining on the background so that um, it can be seen at night. And then, of course, the raffia is just in plastic bags, and we have that placed here on the ground. And you want to make sure to put it right up on the edge because that's really what people see. And then, of course, the cord uh, that it plugs into is right there behind the wall. And then you can store the plastic bags for the raffia just behind here. No one will see it until you're ready to leave. Um, you'll need the 12-foot uh, A-frame ladder. It's in the north stairwell. Excuse me, not stairwell, but coat closet. Um, but this is how you install the nativity. It takes two guys about, honestly, 10 to 15 minutes tops to do this. Um, now that's only installing it up here. The uh, guys typically bring it from the Mount Zion Center garage and have the items pre-staged here. So all we have to do is put it up. And that's what it looks like. If you have any questions, uh, let us know.